So we all know Porsche, right? We all know how fast the 992 is. And we all know that the new Turbo S is pretty much wrecking every other car in its price segment. But what if we dial it back a little bit and take a run of the mill 992 Carrera 4S and see how it fares against a 991 Turbo S. Of course, it's gonna need some help because the horsepower disparity is just too great. But hey, that's what turbos are for, right? Let's get this party started. This is the 2014 911 Turbo S in sapphire blue metallic. And though it's a generation old, it still looks alive and kicking because like Asian women, 911s hardly ever age. It's got the engine in the rear, all wheel drive, a blazing fast seven speed dual clutch PDK, and it weighs just under 3,600 pounds. The 3.8 liter twin turbo flat six makes 560 horses and almost as much torque. But here's a car that also makes around the same power because this 2020 Porsche 992 Carrera 4S has a custom stage one tune and downpipes, which adds almost 120 horsepower to its very modest 443 stock rating. It's also got a dual clutch gearbox, but it's eight speeds instead of seven, which in theory should help. The four in front of the S means it's all wheel drive and heavy as well. Yet it manages to be a smidge lighter than the Turbo at 3519. But that's a negligible amount because I forgot to mention that the 991 has a full catless exhaust that cuts down around 20 pounds as well as tax on 20 or 30 horsepower. And it makes cool noises. Now let's listen to the 992. As always, we'll be doing two rolls and a dig. Best out of three wins? Let's see if a more modern sports car package can outrun its proven flagship predecessor. Well, I guess we can infer that the 991 fell asleep at the wheel for that last run. Or maybe he just felt bad for the 992, so he gave him the jump. Either way, it's safe to say that the previous gen 911 Turbo S is still quicker than a stage one tuned 992 Carrera 4S. I figured since they were both all wheel drive Porsches with very similar power to weight ratios, it'd be good runs. And they were. Honestly, I would have put my money on the 992, but I guess that's why you pay the big bucks for the turbo, huh? Anyway, let's take a look at some of the numbers from the runs that we did, but keep in mind that racing runs usually don't make for good hero runs, so take these times for what they are. We'll start with our in-house 4100. 
The 991 Turbo S put down a decently quick time of 5.05 .05 seconds, whereas the 992 came in a little slower at 5.17. This reflects the runs because it looks like they were pretty close up until 100 miles per hour or so, where the turbo started to walk away. This range is very humble for these high powered cars, so let's take a look at some of the good stuff. From 60 to 130, things start to get interesting. The Turbo S put down a best time of 8.37, where the C4S did it in 8.70. Now that's still impressive because it's a good 7 tenths faster than the stock rear wheel drive 992S that's 200 pounds lighter. And it'll actually shake up some entry level supercars if they aren't careful. But let's talk about livability, price, and all that other jazz. Since we're still knee deep in a COVID inflated car market, I'll reference those prices here. A used 991 Turbo S will put you in the 130 to 140 grand range, which is kind of where a 992 Carrera 4S would end up new or used, depending on options. So you could really go either way here. The Turbo is definitely a sexier car, but the interior of the 992 is just so much more sleek and modern that it kind of offsets it for me. And as I mentioned in my 2020 Carrera S review, I do like the fact that they stretch the 992s out lengthwise a bit. Both cars are daily drivable too, but I find that the 992 just a little more easy going for that purpose. For me, looks do matter, and the wide hip turbo aesthetic gets me every time. But what would you guys pick? A newer 992 Carrera, slap a tune and exhaust on it, or stick with the tried and true 991 Turbo S? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that's all for this episode, and as always, I will catch you all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If so, it'd be awesome if you can hit that like button and share the video with your friends. I can't cover everything I want to in the short amount of time that I have, so if I miss something, let me know in the comments below. As you probably know, it's mainly just me and my wife doing this channel in our spare time. So if you want to show your support, I'd really appreciate it if you took a look at our merch store, or maybe bought something through our Amazon affiliate links in the description below. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to check out some more videos on the channel. I produce all sorts of cinematic car content, so if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button for new episodes whenever they come out. Thanks for watching.